This is my 1000 watt brushless controller, my 72 volt bird tube scooter. Undid the wrap on this. It was dirty, it had a lot of leaves, dried mud, which turned into dirt throughout the time. Now, according to this video, so far this controller has been holding up. So far it's been eight months. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up this casing and I'm gonna add some solder to the shunt, giving it more current, although it doesn't need it. If it blows, it blows. I'll be replacing this with a 72 volt controller instead of a universal, which would be more suitable for the scooter. I'm gonna add a little bit of solder to the shunt and that should give it a little bit more, pull more torque. So let's go ahead and do that now, get the stain open and see what's up with it. See my shunt right there, both those shunts. I'm just go ahead and bridge it very small at the bottom. And that be it, just close my controller up. Go right here, there. what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna coat this and solder it to become solid. It won't be all flimsy. Goes your shunt. At this point, what you want to do is kind of wrap these around each other. In my case, because I have two shunts, some controllers only have one, some controllers have three. So let me get this around this end and then do this. I'm gonna do this off the camera. The subject, the question got brought up in my comments. What if the controller does not have K2 or K1 pins so you can activate your third speed? It's a good question. For example, this controller does not have the K1, K2 pins for my three speed. This situation, it's a little bit different. It does have the three speed switch. Which the right wires here. are gray, black, and red. Let's go ahead and plug this up. That way I can demonstrate for you guys how this works. So let's go ahead and give it throttle. Here you go. Okay, so that there is regular speed. This here activates your low speed. And then if you shorten the gray wire and black wire, this will activate your third speed. Check this out. show you what the numbers are for these pins now it's going to vary depending on the controller you buy but as long as you have a connector with a three-speed switch on it follow these wires back to your board and that will determine what pins you have to use and which ones you have to shorten out so what i did right here was i followed my wires back into the controller my gray black and red it's kind of like a light pink now they come right there on this controller, it's an L02 and an L1. All right, L is for low, H is for high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ground the gray wire. I'm gonna bridge a ground to this gray wire and that's gonna activate my third gear. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, my high speed is gonna be L1. I have my shunt mod done. That's what that looks like. Very small amount of solder. Just got it bridged from the bottom. Nothing too fancy. There goes my toothpaste. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my heat sink because as you can see, there is hardly any toothpaste on that at all. I mean, it's heat sink. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that, close this up and we're right, good to go. go. Modifications done. gear activated through inside this box i do not have to worry about i don't have to worry about dropping a pin to shorten it from up here when it's already done inside the controller so that's out the way and that's it man y'all have any questions drop them down below